All right, guys, we're back again with another adventure here. Kind of making this video tailored for people that forget how to do stuff. I'm talking about my mom. It's pretty funny. Uh, she always doesn't do her pictures all the time, so and she always asks me. So I'm making this video for her and anyone else out there who forgets how to copy, paste, rename, do all your different little picture dragging and all that stuff. So before I get a do, let's run that intro. All right, guys. So first thing you guys are going to want to do is open up whatever folder, or whatever you're going to do on your desktop. I'm in, I went to pictures. This is my pictures folder. So I went into my pictures. And let's say you have, let's create another file. Let's create another file here. Let's go to new. So the first thing you want to do, if you don't have any folders, we're going to go create and we're going to go to new and folder shortcut. We're going to go folder and we'll name it test. So we got test. Then to drag your files into it, all you gotta do is just drag and drop and it's in there. And that's what test is. But let's say you have a whole bunch of files. You can either click as in left click and hold and drag the mouse cursor. So wherever you drag it and you can highlight everything you want and then move it over. See it has five items because five items are selected. But let's say you have all those five items selected and you let go, it's fine. You can still let it go. You just have to hold to do the dragging part. Once you let go, those are selected. But if you click off anywhere, they're gone. They're not selected anymore. So you gotta remember. So if let's say you have all these selected, you're like, oh. like if you're doing hundreds of files, you're like, I don't want those two. Well, what you can do is on your keyboard, the control, left control, you can just hold it down and then you can go, oh, I don't want this one, and I don't want this one. Well, boom. Those other ones are still selected that you want. Just remember, you can't click on any of the space here, and you can't click the old icons when you go to drag. As soon as you do, it's not going to work. They're going to be, oh, I'll click here, look. Oh, look, nothing selected anymore. So let's do that again. Here, selected. And then we'll hit Control, hold Control. And I'll select this ones again. So now I only have three selected. So now you have to, these ones that are highlighted are the ones that are selected. You have to click on hold those ones. Click hold and then look, three files you can drag over to test. If you were to click without holding, it's going to go back and boom, you only selected that one right you're on right now. So that's why there's click and hold and all that too. And next step, what you can do too is you can either hit on your keyboard control A if you have a whole bunch of stuff so control A is select all and then hold control again like I said select which ones you don't want to go through and then you can transfer them over to control A is nice there's just a whole bunch of files especially if you have to scroll down you're like I already know I want everything in that folder I'm not gonna scroll down and try and go and collect all the little files and select them like this just hit control A and they're all selected, so that's nice too. Uh, just make sure that they're all the files you want. You gotta make sure about that. You don't want stuff you don't want in there. Uh, the next thing what you can do is, so if you right click a file, remember this, all this stuff pertains with pictures, documents, music, any type of file type. If you right click any file, there's this, this is Windows 11, there's the scissors icon. If you want, if you have Windows uh, Vista or anything older, you shouldn't, or Windows 7, which you shouldn't, uh, properties or show more sorry show more on this you can copy paste and cut and all that stuff here and everything like that so but for the new Windows 11 I'm gonna tell you so cut if you cut something you just got to make sure that wherever you're transferring it to that nothing bad happens because in the middle it can corrupt the files or if it moves somewhere it's basically so if I say cut cut this file's cut. We can do the control all cut too. Right click, control all again. Like if I go, we'll just go control A and then we'll go to here. We'll make a new cut. And if I actually don't want to do too much, we'll go to select them this way. Control cut. So all these are cut. So if I go here and put them here in this folder, 
We'll go to paste. This is the icon here. It goes down here, paste, or control V like it says. We got them here. That's what cut does, but cut doesn't just, I went back to there. It removes them from here. If you copy or if I drag, let's open up the pictures again. Let's go to here. So here's our test. If I drag, it comes over just like cut. But if you have a different device, like this is on the same drive. So it just does like a cut thing. But if we had another USB drive put in here, it would just copy it over and keep the original. So I'll show you that right now. So cut basically removes it from one and puts it over and gets rid of it from the old spot. Copy, we usually just copy and paste it so, uh, and dragging. So if we go back again, we'll just copy this time. So I can either do control V, I mean control C for copy and control V for paste, or I can just right click. And this little icon right here is copy. So now I copied these ones here. I'm gonna go to test. We're gonna hit that little clipboard again down here. It says paste or control V. And we're gonna hit enter. So they're right here. They're right in this test drive, but they're still in this location over here because I copied them. If you drag over, if they're on the same drive, then it will move them to that new folder and they'll be gone out of here. But if you have a separate network like a drive, Let's go to, or any kind of USB drive in there. So let's say I have, let's just do something. Okay, there you go, Yu-Gi-Oh! Scream, right here. I have drag it over here. It's here, but it's gonna leave it here because it's a different source. This drive, like if I were to move like this from here and do the test again, it's gone because it's on the same actual device itself. But if I were to go here again and go to copy or control C, control C is copy, and then go back and go to paste, now it's here and it's in the test. That's what I wanted to show you. That's what I wanted to make sure. So just make sure you don't mess up your stuff when you're doing your things because that would really suck if you accidentally delete or mess with the file and you didn't want it over or bring it somewhere and be like, oh crap, I, did, I thought I made a copy of it. I didn't bring it with me. Gosh darn it. So you gotta remember that. Next thing what you wanna do is rename. Right click it, hit the little A on this, or what you can do if you go down here and click it, oh, I clicked it. I still don't even worry about this, but you can, if you, sometimes you click it weird and you can edit the name. Um, I think if you, let's see. Hold. No, no, we're just gonna forget about it. So all you gotta do is go here in the little A icon or under show more if you're on not Windows 11, hit rename and then you can name the file whatever you want and stuff like that. Uh, also, what you guys are gonna wanna know, go back to my pictures, pictures, is it, when you go on a file and you right click it, this one is share, so you wanna share it to an email or anything, and this is delete. If you wanna delete a file, you can just hit the little trash can if you're on, like I said, if you're on Windows 11, the trash can is the new delete, or if you go show more for the other ones, you can just straight up hit delete. Or what you can do is just select something. Let's go to, I'm gonna copy this again, and we're gonna to go to copy pad, we'll go copy here. I'm just gonna hit paste here again. And since I already have these here, it's gonna add either a one or a two, depending on if it's the same file name. So this is, or it says copy too, it just depends on like this one right here, if you can see the whole path. Let's go to details again. Let's go to view, uh, details, and we'll bring this up, because you can slide these things to so some of these that are really long. And it, this one shows copy and this very long one, copy. So yeah, this shows copy now too. It used to show one or two or sometimes, just depending on the program, it will have that. So you know you have doubles, but you can just select them and just hit the delete key and boom, they're gone, just like that. They will go to your recycle bin. Go into your recycle bin, all the stuff we deleted will go here. Do your maintenance. Once you know you want to delete that stuff, right click the recycle bin and just hit empty recycle bin and yes I want to delete them bye bye and now they're gone your recycle bins clean and everybody will feel better you recycled uh, so yeah 
I just wanted to make these videos for you guys to make it easy for you to do file transfers and stuff like that. So my mom can know how to do it now. I'm not saying I don't mind her asking, but sometimes if I'm not available or something and or I don't pick up the phone, at least she knows she can watch this video and so can other people. Uh, so yeah, the most important thing is you and your family are having a rockin' rolling day. Peace out. Hey, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you guys don't miss any videos. Peace out. Have a rock and rolling day.